Ayong adlaw sa inyong tanan, you can only ever put so many blocks on a 10 thruster Omni drone before it gets too heavy to fly. For big ships, you need more than just 10 thrusters. In this video, I'm going to talk about integrating the Omni drone flight system to your custom ship design. We need redstone integrators from Computercraft Advanced Peripherals or ones from Plethora if you're playing on fabric a computer or turtle with an ender modem, and a lot of wireless redstone transmitters and receivers. There are a lot of mods that add wireless redstone, so take your pick. This will be your Omnidrone's core. It will control all of your ship's thrusters via wireless redstone. In the new Omnidrone flight system, the computer should be able to figure out on its own what tier of thrusters you have on board. Having uniform thruster tiers will help fly the ship. But if you don't have the budget, you can still fly the ship using thrusters with different tiers. Just be ready to tweak the PID settings a bit. The core doesn't need to be at the center of mass, so you can just put it anywhere on the ship. Show hitboxes to see your ship's center of mass. The center of mass is where your thrusters will pivot the ship while it's flying. It does not matter where it is, what matters most is how you put the thrusters around it. This flight system is built on 6 degrees of freedom to be omnidirectional. That means you need thrusters that contribute to pitching, yawing and rolling, as well as moving up and down, sideways and forwards and backwards. Make sure to have enough thrusters pointing the right way to contribute to all of these degrees of movement. For turning the ship, keep in mind the further the thrusters are from the center of mass, the more influence they have on turning the entire ship. Now that we have our thrusters in place, we now need to work on the code. Drop in the Omnidrone template code into your pilot turtle and let's start editing the firmware script file. We will be using the drone base class SP and we then override its following methods. For an example of how to use this class and override these methods, you can take a look at the 10 thruster template classes. Valkyrian Sky's Tournament has added an API to get a list of all active thrusters on a ship. It is not the same order each time we get the list from the API, so we need to organize this list in the organize thruster table method. We can tell the thrusters apart by the direction they're pointing, their position around the center of mass, and their strength. Sometimes, one thruster isn't enough to pull your ship forward. You can add more thrusters instead to act as one powerful thruster. Since all of them are going to be hooked up to the same redstone frequency, we need to tell our drone to treat them as a single thruster. We can call this the equivalent thruster. To get the equivalent thruster, we first need to pick out the thrusters we need from the list using their position and direction. We sum up their base force get their average position and direction, and then add the equivalent thrusters to our new thruster table. The drone is going to use this new list to calculate how much redstone power each thruster would need. The drone returns it as a list of redstone signals for us to use to power our thrusters. This list will end up in the power thrusters method. Let's first reference the redstone integrator blocks around our turtle pilot before talking about it more. We need to set this method up so that it can take in a single number or a table as input. If the method is called with the component redstone power argument as a number, we power all of our thrusters with the same value. If it is a table of redstone signals, we map out each table value to its respective redstone receiver. Keep in mind the order of the redstone table. The order of the component redstone power table depends on how we arranged it earlier. Make sure the redstone connections are correct before moving on. Set it to hover at a specific coordinate and turn it on. If it hovers in place without moving too much, it means it's working. We are practically done, but here are a few more functions that you might want to override. You can set your ship's default orientation using the get offset default ship orientation method. As an example, I've built my ship facing positive Z. But usually, people associate forward with positive x. We can rotate the ship's local orientation so that it treats its bow as its positive x axis instead. We 
We can do that by overriding this function. I've set the ship to align its positive z-axis with the world's positive z-axis. So if we hit refresh, our ship would try to align its positive z-axis with the world's. By rotating the default orientation, we can now control the ship's heading by using the positive x-axis. Once you get your ship up in the air, it might feel like it's not moving as fast or as slow as you want it to go. This is when you need to tune the PID values over at the firmware script.lua file. In engineering, feedback controllers are used to regulate stuff in control systems like power, speed, temperature, etc. Depending on the current state of the system. In our case, we are using PID feedback controllers to control how much redstone power our drone needs to fly depending on its position and orientation in the air. If you need it, here is a video to help you get started on the topic. There are many alternatives to PID controllers, like LQR, LQG, Fuzzy Logic, Neural Networks. If you want, you can use a different feedback controller for your ship. Just override these methods. See how Drone Base Class SP uses these methods as an example. And that is it. You should now be able to build your own Omni drone. If you want to know how to tell it to fly, watch the first episode. If you want to know how to control them remotely, watch the second episode. To be honest, Valkyrian Sky's tournament is not beginner friendly when it comes to building Omni drones. For people who don't want to worry too much about thruster placement, redstone wiring, and physics getting in the way of building flying asymmetric ships. Valkyrian Sky's contraption is the way to go. That's why on the next episode in this tutorial series, I'll talk about how to build Omni drones using Valkyrian Sky's contraption. So see you in the next video.